So this is, um, I'm going to just kind of start off and first show how to get to our AAP toolkit. Um, and so on our main page, obviously make sure that you're logged in because um, a lot of this stuff is password protected. So step one, make sure to log in. Um, on our home page, you're going to scroll down until you see the AEP toolkit. So obviously it's it's called the AEP toolkit because um, a lot of it is geared towards the MA PDP side, but there's so much stuff in here that can be used throughout the year, um, regardless whether it's AEP or not, um, particularly some of the um, appointment materials and I'll kind of touch on those as well. But I know I use this daily regardless of the you know time of year and I, um, I think it's safe to to say that a lot of our team members do that as well. So for sure, yeah. Um, so yeah, we we use this all the time. There's so many resources on our website. This isn't just where we house like the majority of our resources. There's so many resources on our website that um, sometimes it can almost be overwhelming. Where do I find all this stuff? So the AP toolkit was specifically made that way, the things that are very relevant for you to click and go uh, grab really quick during AEP and to prepare for it are all in one spot. Um, so yeah, like she said, it's mm -hmm. like, it's something that not only we have a lot of our agents use every day, but we are using it as well. If you're right. calling in and asking us a question, we're probably using the toolkit as well. For sure, absolutely. Um, okay, so kind of just I want to highlight a few different things on the toolkit. Um, so the first thing you'll see is the um, carrier resources and certification section. Um, so it's very beautifully laid out as you can see the different um, carrier logos. Um, when you click on a carrier, you will find um, all different sorts of stuff pertaining to certifications um, particularly. So um, we'll click on Aetna and I'll just kind of show an example. So here is Aetna's page. So you have the uh, portal link to access their certifications. Um, you have um, our rollout video that we did earlier um, this summer, um, as well as the password to, um, to access that. Um, first looks, we have the first looks here. Um, and so any sort of pre AEP, um, you know, trainings, mm -hmm. materials that we have, they're going to be um, on here as well. Um, and also just like any sort of like important, you know, updates that we've got, we got this um, DSNP, you know, notice earlier, mm -hmm. um, I think last week. And so just kind of making sure that any sort of communication we're getting from the carrier um, that's, you know, pertinent to AEP um, commissions, anything like that, we're, we're putting that to where, to where agents can see it. Yeah, last week at the roadshow or the last couple weeks, um, whenever we were showing agents that we have this, this is one of the things that they were like so excited about because they're like, cool, now we have all of the like big carriers, mm -hmm. all of the really important information that we need to know. It's like, instead of having to download it all on my computer, make a Word document, yeah. it's all just in one place. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and especially when you have, you know, if you have, you know, three, four, five MA carriers that you're needing to do certifications for, the portals can overwhelm me. And so it's like so nice just to have all the portal links here. Some have different ones than, you know, their regular agents like agent right. portals. So yeah. um, it's just really nice to have them all in one link. Again, this I use these daily when people are asking for certification links. This is where I go. So, um, so yeah, you'll find all of that good stuff for um, for all of the different carriers that you'll see. We do have a question here. Um, Mary is asking, good morning, Mary. Uh, prorated payments on DSNP, can you elaborate? Hi, Mary. Yeah, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably, I can reach out to you after um, this. I don't wanna go too much into it and get too far off um, kind of the other points I wanna make. Um, but yes, I can definitely make a note and I'll reach out to you, Mary. Um, and if anyone else has questions about that, um, definitely reach out, um, let us know. Um, but yeah, that's an update that we got from the carrier. I believe it was last week. Um, and so, yeah, I, I'll be happy to reach out to Perfect. you. Writing down your name, Mary, so that way we can get you. Okay, so um, the next thing you'll see is um, application submission options. 
I won't go too much into this because, um, like Sadie mentioned, we are having an integrity tech day on Thursday. Um, and so, um, you know, this integrity for agents Medicare center is going to be covered there. Um, however, if you are planning on doing any sort of paper applications, this AEP and going to be sending it to our office, um, this is kind of all that information you would need the agreement form, the, fax cover sheet, this allows you to send an email. So just quick links there and I will move on. We have a question right here, if you don't mind clicking on that yes. there. Um, another Mary, good morning, Mary. Uh, do I have to get my sister contracted with at least one company prior to her doing a hip or NABIP? Um, yes. So in order to get the discount, um, at least for the, on the AHIP side, you have to have a carrier um to kind of access their portal which then will automatically apply that discount at the checkout um so yes you'll have to have at least one um, to be able to to access those trainings okay thank you mary um okay so the first thing i want to touch on is our 2025 ultimate ap tactical guide um when we first got this um i know my team was screaming this um from the rooftops and so um, maybe you've seen it in an email from my team um, but if not this is definitely something you're going to want to um, download print off whatever you know whatever's easiest for you however um, you know would work best for you I would get this in front of you as soon as possible um, and speaking of which I actually have this if you look in the handout section here um, I have a flyer that I uploaded that has a QR code on there if you go ahead and scan that you can scan it right now uh, you'll be able to get access to this we wanted to make sure you guys once you saw this you're able to do it right away so look in that handout section scan the QR code and you will be able to see what she sees yes um, okay, so it breaks it down month by month. Um, and so um, we put this out in June, so you'll see June. Basically, it tells you what you should be looking at for that month, what you should be doing that month. Um, and then the more you move down, it should be telling you, okay, this should this should be done by now. And so, for example, August, certifications should be done um, is what it's saying. And so all certifications are out now. Uh, again, if you have four, five, six carriers, um, I know how time consuming those can be. Um, but for this guide, certifications, you know, should be done and um, or should be wrapping up at least because it has a to do list of other things that you should be kind of focusing on. Um, and so it really if you're a, a list kind of person, which I 100 percent am Me too, yeah. this the to do section is just amazing. There's a box that you can even click on, which is just so satisfying. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so it's telling you what you need to be doing in this month. Um, and so I just love how simple it is and um, it, it really just, it has everything. It's, it's yeah. you know, it's kind of a one-stop shop um, for how you can kind of be structuring your time. Um, it has marketing stuff, what you should be doing for your marketing, um, what you can be doing to prepare your staff if you have staff, um, as well as how you can kind of be preparing for um, appointments. And so those are some other things I'll touch on, but um, it's a beautiful piece and and yeah, we we love it here and we have sent it to hopefully everybody and everybody has hopefully everybody has seen this and if not, um, definitely get it from that handout section. And if you have questions on it, please reach out because this is just it's definitely one of my favorite things that we have probably ever put out. Yes, yeah. we we've always had a a like a very kind of, I don't want to say dumbed down version, but for the lack of a better word, like a, a more, um, yeah, like a dumbed down version of something like this, where it's like AEP checklist sort of thing. But they came out with this tactical guide because we all know that this year is going to be crazy. If you mm -hmm. don't know that, we'll get later um, into where you can find resources about why this AEP is going to be so nuts. Um, but yeah, this is really cool because this was specifically built for this year. That way people can make sure that they are seeing, okay, do I, do I have all this stuff ahead of time? I'm just reiterating everything you just said. But yeah, anyway really really awesome yeah. guide it's the best um 
Okay, so down here is kind of um, the meat and potatoes of the AP toolkit, if you will. Um, and so there is a ton on here. I want to highlight a few specific um, materials. Um, so I'm gonna start over here under client appointment and materials. A lot of this stuff can be used, like I said, all throughout the year. So not um, AEP specific. Um, so this first one I'm going to touch on is this plan recap sheet. Um, so this is a super handy um, kind of comprehensive summary sheet that um, makes a great takeaway at the end of an appointment. Um, it lists what they just, you know, enrolled into. Um, there's a spot to acknowledge it for the client to acknowledge it. Um, and yeah, it's just a great takeaway. I think it would instill a lot of confidence in the client that yeah. they made the right choice in their um, health care options. They know what they signed up for. Um, but also confidence in, in you as, as their advisor, um, yeah. just kind of having this, this piece to take away and to say, okay, I, I know when, you know, my premium is going to be taken out. I know I'm on this plan. I know it's going to start on this day. Um, yeah. so yeah, I just think it's a really, um, really beautiful piece to be able to use all year round at the end of all your appointments. Yeah. And it's like nice to know that they can leave your office and you know that they have all the information in one place that they need because they're learning so much of this stuff. A lot of this is just like so new to people. They don't know if they need to know exactly who, you know, like their PCP is or what the right. star rating is or anything like that. A lot of times people don't know that they, it's helpful to know that, right. you know, they don't know for what sure. they don't know. And so this is really nice. I know for how like my brain works, this is what I would want. I want this from everything. Yeah, I just want to make sure. sure that, you know, I have something that isn't just my notes, but it's like, this is exactly what I need to know. Right. Yeah. Definitely a great reference um, point just for post materials. So yeah, love that one. Um, okay. So next one that I want to highlight down here, um, is our 2025 Medicare Part D flyer. Um, so because of a lot of the changes, particularly the IRA, um, a lot of those changes are affecting, um, prescription drug plans. And so, um, with, you know, the coverage gap kind of, moving away, um, the limits changing, um, the smoothing provision, um, all sorts of things that, um, you know, can be really hard to kind of keep up with. We have created these really beautiful just one pagers. Um, so there's an agent use one, which um, kind of just highlights each section, has more information. Um, and then the client use one has a part where you can, of course, personalize it. Um, but then it kind of just has each section of like what the plan year 2025 looks like um, for their drug coverage. So um, I kind of mentioned the smoothing provision also called the Medicare prescription payment program um, in 3P. That's going to be a hot topic, of course. Um, and so this is just a really beautiful piece to give, again, another great takeaway after appointments, um, especially, um, you know, those PDP plans. Um, MAPD plans. Um, great reference yeah. point. Another thing that I will um, kind of note on these is this is also a great networking piece for um, pharmacists, for doctor's offices. Love that. Yeah. Um, because a lot of a lot of them don't know the changes as well. For sure. Um, yeah, I love that. Yeah. I'll share a quick story. We have a newer agent um, that we've been working with for the past couple of months. This will be his first AEP. Um, and he came to one of our road shows. Um, and he took this piece and he went to his local pharmacist and they had no idea. They were so grateful, him and his, the pharmacist and the techs. Um, they just kind of afterwards, they felt so much more confident of being able to help their client tell. Um, they kept okay. this piece and um, and then they'll be able to, you know, direct clients, you know, back to the agent. So it. um, it's a great, great piece to kind of um, spread to your different networking partners um so yeah this is like kind of a really like weird technical thing but one thing i was thinking about is um so 
all of these different resources in here that we're showing you were made by senior marketing specialists. And so, um, you know, when, when you have like the Medicare in you handbook or you have those federal documents that have the logos on them, if they have the logos on them, then you're not supposed to mark on them or anything like that. You just kind of have to hand a copy, a blank copy to um, your client. One thing I love about these is because these aren't a CMS document, you're able to highlight and you're able to scratch it up. You're able to right over on the side, you know, this is what this is going to be, but don't worry about it because your Medicare Advantage plan is going to cover it or whatever it may be. These are for you to be able to use however you want. You can hand those over to your client. Um, and yeah, anyway, that's such a small technical yeah. thing, but it's one no, thing to think sure. about. It's, it's a copy that you can write up and give notes to your uh, clients. Yeah. Um, so let's move on. Um, okay, we do have a question here, a yeah. couple questions. Face-to-face -face does not need to be recorded, correct? Uh, yes, face-to-face -face appointments do not have to be recorded, only if you are um, having a sales appointment over the phone or FaceTime, Zoom, something like that. So if it's digital, has to be recorded. If you are face-to-face, -face, you do not have to record that. And then can we share this piece now to clients and prospects? Yes. Um, so a lot of this is coming, a lot of those changes are because of the IRA, which is of course public knowledge. Um, none of that is plan specific. Um, so yes, you can be sharing that with your clients, um, prospects. Again, I said networking partners. Yep, you can definitely be sharing that now. Awesome, good question. Um, okay, so next, I'm going to do that. Next I wanna highlight our pre-AEP letter. Um, so this is a beautiful piece again that we built this year um, because of the um, high shopping rates that are anticipated. It's going to be so key to have such a smooth appointment kind of schedule. Um, you know, no more hour, hour and a half long appointments. Um, you're going to need to be um, you know, being efficient with mm -hmm. with kind of your appointments just to kind of get the most out of your time. Um, and so this is a great piece to send to your clients to prompt them to um, send in an updated drug list, um, update their providers, um, contact preferences, anything like that. Um, so this is it's completely compliant. It's ready to be sent, ready to be personalized to you. Um, there's a spot to um, put your plan enroll link if you have a plan enroll site or your PAW personal agent website. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, clients are able to click that link and update it that way. Um, or if you have paper forms that you're including as well, um, it, it has a spot for that as well. So um, great way to update and get all of your information prior to those appointments so that when you get there, you can be prepared, you can go straight into it, mm -hmm. you can review what you need to review, um, and then you can get on to the next client. Yeah, absolutely. We've had a lot of people um, tell us whenever we're like, hey, start collecting drug lists right now from your current clients. Start getting all that stuff ahead of time. Um, that way your your appointments can be cut down in time. You can kind of get through, do what you need to do. Um, we've had people ask, the reason why we made this was because we had people say, well, how am I even supposed to do that? How am I supposed yeah. to contact all of my clients right now? Try to get those. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Well, this is just like a super simple letter. Literally, you just download it and all you have to do is change uh, your personal information on there and everything's built for you. So, and that's how most of these are. You just kind of yeah. change your personal information on there. Um, but this is just like a super simple way to kind of get it yeah. out to all of your clients. For sure. Um, and then kind of going off of that, um, down here, the client intake form. Um, if you are kind of going the route, if you don't have a personal, a plan and roll site, um, and you want to include a piece of paper for them to then mail back to you, um, this client intake form is a great option. Um, it has spots for them to fill out all of their information, household information, current insurance. Um, and then down at the bottom, of course, there's a spot for their medication. So, um, yeah, this is kind of everything that you would need to know yeah. from, a, from a prospect, really. But then even just your current clients getting any sort of updated information. Yeah. Um, a great piece to include in there. Um, and then one more piece that I kind of want to highlight with that as far as um, obtaining um, drugs is actually going to be on our AMP 
page. So I'm going to go over there. So AMP is our agent marketing portfolio. So these are um, marketing materials that you can um, order. Um, and they're beautiful. They're amazing. I could talk all day for the talk all day about them. Um, but I want to highlight particularly the medication tracker. Um, and so this is another piece that um, another great takeaway um, for a client after appointment. This is a great piece for um, booths, for um, events, educational events that you may have. Um, this is just yeah, just one, they're beautiful, all the aesthetically pleasing colors that yeah. I love. Um, there's also a place to put um, a QR code that leads directly to your plan and roll site. Um, and so and so there's that point and then um, spots down here to mark their allergies and their medications. Um, and this is a great piece for clients to keep with them, to keep in their purse, in their wallet, um, in case of an emergency. Another quick kind of story. Mm -hmm. um, we have someone here in our office who's also a full-time firefighter and he has um, in multiple cases, you know, of course been a first responder, been on, um, on you know, different sort of scenes and had um, pieces like this from um, people that he's been helping and he says that it can be life and death, knowing yeah. what they're allergic to, knowing what kind of medication they're on, um, so this is just a great piece to kind of have with you all the time, um, just in case for for those, you know, emergencies that you can, you know, kind of be prepared and, you know, help out those first responders. So, yeah, I love that. Yes. If you guys aren't aware of what Agent Marketing Portfolio is, it is a service that is offered. All of these are built by our graphic designer um, here in our office. This is something that is free to anybody who's contracted with us. So if you're an agent with our uh, with us, you have um, the availability or you have the ability to be able to download any of these requests, any of these AMP pieces. Uh, we don't charge you anything for them, but we also don't print them for you. We'll send you the PDFs. You can print them however you'd like. We also offer um, different advice, different places that we suggest you print through and everything like that. If you have any questions about it, it's incredible. It's one of our most used services. So um, in this medication tracker is just one of the very many things, as you can see right there, um, on uh, our AMP program, through our AMP program. So give us a call if you have any questions about that. But this piece specifically will be super helpful, this AEP. Definitely. Um, and kind of going off that, I think a lot of times you can have all of the right things you need, but then you're like, what do I do with this? So yeah. um, the implementation of it all can kind of be a little overwhelming. And so, sure. um, yeah, that's definitely an area in which um, senior marketing specialists can help. I hope that you're getting some great takeaways from this on how to use these pieces um, and kind of, you know, take those actionable steps on what to do with this stuff. So Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, I just have a few more things that I want to highlight. Um, next, back here on the toolkit, um, right here, the IRA Inflation Reduction Act. Um, so that is a huge player this year um, in kind of causing a lot of the changes, especially on the PDP side, the drug side. Um, so I want to kind of just quickly point out um, this IRA What's Changing PowerPoint deck. Um, and so this is an educational piece. Um, and so if you if you are um, wanting to get into educational events, this is a great piece to use. Um, it literally has all the slides ready for you um, and you can kind of just take it straight from our website, um, smack your name on it and and go with it. Yeah. Um, so this is just a beautiful compliant educational piece that is just ready to go. And then there is some more IRA um, resources here. This one right here, the IRA smoothing provision, that's a, a blog post that we have. So just a lots of information on that specifically. Um, and then one last spot, particularly kind of want to touch as well, since I mentioned educational events. Um, I'm gonna hop over to our university, our beautiful university. Um, and just point out our AEP pop-up tent. Um, so this is um, a spot where we have kind of put, have been wanting to put all of the um, 2025 
AEP, what's changing? A lot of this is, it's timely, it's time sensitive. Um, you know, these are, are pertinent to this AEP. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is kind of where we have put all of that. And so here's where you can see all of the industry updates and kind of what's what's causing all of this to happen. You know, the AEP disruptions is kind of how agent resources have just been kind of lumping it all together, mm -hmm. just the disruptions. And yeah. so um, here you'll find all of that. I will say on this pop-up tent, um, so our AEP toolkit on our website, smsteam.net, that you have to have a contract with us in order to um, get in because you have to have you have to be able to log into our website to access. This is on our um, Senior Marketing Specialist University page. So if you click that training tab up at the top at our website, it takes you here. This is open and free to anyone. So you're able to check out any of the stuff that you want. Most of the content on here is going to be video content. Mm -hmm. So if you're wanting to learn about, okay, well, take me back to square one. What is the IRA? All that sorts of stuff. We are constantly pumping out um, video content about this sort of stuff because we all learn in different ways. Sometimes people can read legislation or sometimes people can read a summary and then sometimes people need to see someone explaining it. So we have that for those visual learners here as well. Um, and yeah, so most of this is going to be video and it's also just free. You don't have to log in or anything like that. Sorry, yeah. I'm kind of no, stealing you're good. There. No, that's perfect. And I'll kind of just scroll down so you can see the different stuff that's on here. Um, I was talking about educational events back with that um, IRA piece. Um, this is a really nice video um, that Chaylin made on how to get the most out of your educational event. Um, and so if that's something that you're um, wanting to get into this year, or if you've you know done a million, I think it can um, you know, always be super helpful and um, especially the IRA piece, just new material to have for your clients um, and especially stuff that, you know, pertains to them yeah. so much. Um, so, yeah, this is just a beautiful um, spot that, again, I use all the time. These are um, different uh, resources that we're constantly sending to um, agents, mm -hmm. even if they call in asking something that has nothing to do with MA or Part D. Um, we're always trying to sneak in like, hey, you know, hi, I know you have MA carriers. Like, yeah. have you heard about this stuff? And so um, we're just, you know, talking about it until we're until we're blue in the face. Mm -hmm. um, and then one more thing that I just kind of wanted to to plug was, as you can see, as you said, he said, a lot of this is video content um, and a lot of it's coming from Medicare Cafe. Um, and then Medicare Industry Insider Podcast, which is a podcast that um, Chaylin and Rachel, two of the easily the smartest people that yeah, I know, seriously, <laughs> um, just like don't know how we could have picked a better duo for that. Mm -hmm. um, and so just kind of shameless plug for um, for those. Um, so, yeah, if you're if you haven't listened to the podcast or if you're not registered for Medicare Cafe, definitely um, do that. We can help yeah. you direct you um, to where you can kind of access those. So. Yeah. These are just videos that are across our YouTube platform, the senior marketing specialist, and then our extra podcast all in one spot, kind of like that AP toolkit. If you look down here at the very bottom of the screen under agency staff and training, it says AEP operations training TBD. That is where we're going to be posting um, this recording. So if you're seeing this, you might already be on our, um, our, our pop-up tent here. So just keep an eye out for that whenever we have that updated. But this is going to be something that uh, we are updating constantly. This is actually a big project of mine. I'm going to make sure that this is updated all throughout the end of the year. And then once the end of the year is done, all this will be kind of not old news, but we'll be used to it. We'll take it down. Um, we'll always have this stuff just kind of different places. But be checking this out um, throughout the year, all the way up until AEP and through, because we're going to be updating this and making sure that you have all the stuff you need to know video content wise in one spot. So, yeah.